the Sky River, the transcendent emperor had wrapped an armature around the eye of a god. Bernardo had already let that armature slip away to save Lupino's life. But even its core, the eye torn from a god, surely they could fashion a great weapon from that. The core of the Sky Ripper? Lupino's excited. That's an actual thing that we could just go and get. You've been busy. He sure had. Renato told him all the things he'd been up to. Soon they got to talking about old times, about wages they'd won and lost, and scrapes they'd barely got out of. It was good to be back with his friend. Renato grinned. He had a very good feeling about this. It's beautiful here, thought Renardo. He was thrilled to be back with his old war buddy. He missed the mad rabbit, but something was not quite right. There was something sour in the air. Like the earth had ruptured over something that had been fermenting for a very long time. And this is why heroes are called dashing, Leonardo thought. See? Dashing? Get it? Renato felt wrong all over. He could feel an almost palpable sickness in the air. And if the land could have tumors, it would look like these monstrous crystals. The forest was quieter than it had been. There were insects, but few birds, if he didn't count the ravens. Renato smelt sick animals and dying ones, but no healthy ones. And getting a bad feeling about this, Renato thought. Maybe Lapina was right. Maybe they should have kidnapped Zenobia instead of coming here. He missed his old skills. He welcomed them back like it was at a reunion. As he held the radiant icosahedron, Renato felt queasy, like dozens of tiny worms were nibbling his insides. It wasn't healthy to be so close to the eye of a god. How could he use it? He could take it to the observatory. The scientists there could tell him how to harness its ancient power. 
But honestly, Renato ached to get away from it. He brought the core back with him to the Farfarer. But honestly, Renato ached to be rid of it. Tell you what, said Lupino, I'll take it to the observatory. You attack the Imperial outpost. The Imperial outpost was a vital communications node. Taking it could shatter the Empire's ability to coordinate. And it would be full of secret plans and maps and maybe even rebel prisoners. It was a good target for a hero like Renardo. But what if Lupino got the core and then broke it or lost it? Or worse, was Renardo ready to take that risk? Maybe it was better if he brought the core to the scientists himself.